What is up everyone, Mickey Man back with another video on the channel today, hope you're all doing very well. And as you can see here today, we're starting off against Chelsea in the Norwich career mode on FC24. Um, so, let me just go to kick off quickly. Um, I've made one change, and you probably can't see it, it's because it's a custom tactic. I've made Kone get forward um, in when we're attacking. So, um, instead of change of formation, he's always going to be in the forward positions with Daka. And I've been using this on my ultimate team, and it's been working very well um, there. So I thought I'd give it a go here. Um, but anyway, we've got Chelsea today starting off, but then we have Luton and Forest. So if we don't win this one, we're going to hope to win the other two because they're very big games. But let's get right into this one anyway. Car Road against Chelsea, probably the hardest match of the video, but we'll give it a right go. To see what happens. Right, uh, I excuse any like pixelated video. I, I, I've realised that the last video, the bitrate wasn't great, and honestly, I, I don't know what's up with that. Um, I've been trying to fiddle with things, so hopefully, it's better today. Lob it over to ensure he's got pace. He's going to get there. He's going to keep going. He's going to just keep going. Keep going into it. That's not where I want it, but Sam's going to give it to Dominguez, who can't lose it, otherwise, there'll be issues in midfield. Man in the middle, surely, is Sarah. Oh, he scored, it's Sarah, I think. He's been awful in the first 10 minutes, but he just scored a goal. Oh, my. Well, we're beating Chelsea. And I think it's deserved, because we've just had better play in their half. I mean, they went forward one time, but we got the other end, score. And it was it was kind of patient play. I mean, trying to hold it down the wing with Inchua. You know, wait for better play to unfold. Sarah just keeps his run, doesn't go offside. And lovely finish from the number 17. Wow. Well, who would have thought this? Beating Chelsea the first 20 minutes. Obviously, it's a long game, but it's a good start to this one. And 1-0 to us. But anyway, here we go. Lo oh, it's a lovely tackle. Both centre-backs put in really good challenges um, so far. And here we go on the counter again. Cohen is getting forwards. He's giving it to Daka. Just trying down the wing. Go on. Just keep going. Yeah, yeah. It's no, it's no backup. That's an issue. <laughs> Gonna keep it with Borja signs. He's offside. Why did I do that? I saw him off and just pray, press the button anyway. We should uh, be okay. But here comes Kone down the wing. I'm gonna give it to Daka in the middle. It's got to Daka. He's gonna finesse it. Oh, the keeper saves. Not a greatest shot from Daka. I thought it was gonna get blocked to the first place. But it's another chance for us. And well, we're definitely on top of Chelsea right now. Oh, it's lovely from Kone. Here he comes, the attacking man. He's got 85 dribbling. See what he can do. He's gonna keep going. Keep going. Man, Dacker in the middle. I don't know what that defender's doing, but it's another block. Oh, that um, that man running with Kone has just left Dacker free there. But we can't take a chance, is there? Inchu has got to defend. Back post. Back. Oh, what a save from Verbruggen. I didn't press any buttons there. Oh, Plumenek. He's off his line. <laughs> that was dodgy. Verbruggen just uh, had a mind of his own there to, to save that one because I completely messed up the defender. And we're looking at Angus Gunn. Well, you're not going to get played after that save, lad. I think we've let off the pace just a little bit, maybe in the last 10 minutes. But he's half-time. Blimey neck, that went really quickly after we scored. Um, pretty decent half. Obviously, Chelsea had that one chance at the end there, which was a bit dodgy. We've got to make sure they don't do that again. But um, we've created a few chances, maybe three or four chances. Obviously, got the goal with Sarah, but um, I think Dax had a couple of shots which he'd missed. So all we could do in the second half is build on our, build on our lead and get a couple more goals, maybe. So we've got Forrest and Luton after this. Now, if we can beat Chelsea, that's there's high hopes to maybe win all three in this video, which would be brilliant. We'd spring right up the table if we can. But obviously, we've got to focus on Chelsea first, who are going to be an issue. Oh, it's lovely from Sarah, and he's kept the ball. Brilliant. And now that's an awful through ball, and Borhasan's trying to slide his man. Thankfully, he jumped over me. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Oh, so lovely. Oh, he's given a pen. He's given a pen. Of course he's given a pen. I thought he got the ball. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> After all that, a penalty. It's just not what you want. It, it looked like he got the ball there. Uh, how, how did the ball, like, go off the pitch? Like, wh how he kicked it then? That makes no sense how that's a foul. What? <laughs> I'm... I'm uh... Oh, for God's sake. They always blooming score penalties. Not even that deserved, is it? We had such a good first half, and then an early penalty in the second half. 
which isn't really even a penalty. And Kunku scores, he's never going to miss, to be honest. And Verbruggen can't do anything about that, just go the wrong way. Right, okay, we'll just skip that, that's, a lo that's really annoying. But we know how well we were playing in the first half. So we've got to do it again. What is that? What is that pass? What is that? Like, what? you're trying to make me lose now, game. Well done, Inshua. But, oh my gosh, what is the first touch when I win the ball back? Every time we just lose the ball. This, this half has been awful for that. I pressed X to slide with the man running in, but okay. How are we losing this? It's been two awful goals. Like, and, and the thing is, I keep winning the ball off Chelsea when they're going forwards, but every time I win it back, like, we just misplace passes, and it's just a simple, like, short pass. And we've conceded twice because of it. And I, I slid with the man that's literally on the shooter, and he just hasn't done it. There's an inch I pressed I pressed X to slide. I didn't press B, I pressed X. So why hasn't he done it? Oh dear. Well, it was going so well, and now it's just. Wow, we're losing. Well done, Salah. I still think the centre backs play quite well. That's an awful. That's awful. Oh, that's a yellow. <laughs> it's a bit late. Oh, well done, Cohen, eh? But he's just fallen over once he's got the ball. This half's just been really bad with trying to get the ball back and keeping it. I think that's probably why we're losing. Lovely bit of play there. Sarah on the wing. Sarah on the wing is going to have to run. Surely Daka. We found the back of the net. 82 minutes. There's a chance to win it, maybe. And Daka finds the back of the net again. The man in form, probably. Celebrate. Is it Daka? Wait. It's not Daka. Is it Kone? Blimey, it's Kone. What is Kone? Kone was literally in Daka's position. Oh, that's why I put him on press forwards. I thought it was Daka. It's not him. Oh, well. You, you, you love to see it. He's in that. Where is Daka then? He's always oh, behind him. Well, I wasn't expecting Kone to be, you know, making the run on the left, but it's, it's, a, br it's a brilliant finish, which is why I thought it was Daka, to be honest. Um, lovely. Fi yeah, keeps never saving. That's, that's unsavable. Uh, lovely strike, and maybe we can um, take this, this goal and get a bit of momentum in the last 10 minutes. I'm not going to make a sub, but they've, they've kicked it off the pitch. Chance to get forwards, maybe. Why? I pressed the button 10 minutes ago and you can't get out of your blooming... F I swear to God. I swear to God. That is... A I can't be... I can't be bothered. Like, I just can't. Sarah has the ball and I press the button and he just gets it in between his feet, doesn't pass it. And now they're winning again. Because I can't get any... I can't get any players back. I mean, Cam Brown shouldn't have to worry about that because Sarah shouldn't lose it. And I don't know where Angulo is, but Angulo is probably trying to run forwards as well. Oh, I can't be bothered. That is just a joke. All three goals have been just bad for them. It's just been frustrating. I can't believe we're just lo we'll lose it again as soon as we score. That, oh, come on, ref. I'm right. That's that's a. How is that not a card? We're making a counter-attacking move. Like what is that? You can't not give a card for that. He's on. He's on. He's on. Is he? Oh, he must not have been on because he wouldn't have blown there, right? I thought he was on. Oh, how have we lost that, man? 1 0 at half time. We lost 3 2. Like, it just felt like in that match, we kept winning the ball of Chelsea when they were running at us, but then we just couldn't make a simple pass. And it happened, like, over and over and over. And that's how they scored their goals. It, it just feels really annoying. And uh, yeah, I mean, they got their penalty goal. It just it fell apart after that. I mean, it wasn't even... A, we can look at that again, maybe. If it's on the in the the highlights, I don't know. Yeah, we can look at it at the highlights. Let's li how is that a foul? How have you given a foul for that? Are you, you... This is ridiculous. That is not a foul, you dumbass. <laughs> like, it just fell apart after that. And it's not even a foul. I can't believe he gave a foul for that. Like, I know he's grabbing onto the man, but that's what defenders do. It's a bit of physicality. You can't give a foul like that. All right. Well, that didn't end too well, but we've got to play Luton now, so we really kind of need to win this one. All right. I think we're just going to go for the same lineup. I mean, the, in the last match, uh, the first half went really well, and I think, yeah, the issue with the second half is just we kept losing the ball when we won it back quite quickly and just couldn't get into their half and really create enough 
which is why we lost the match and obviously you got some silly goals for Chelsea but it is what it is let's move on to to Luton now Kone got gone on the last one maybe he can make it another one still pressing forwards of course maybe um at some point in this match I'll make a sub because I'm hoping Luton won't play as well as Chelsea although it, it, Chelsea didn't necessarily play well I just I played badly in certain areas and then um just been some silly goals <laughs> But these are the kind of games we need to get points out of because, you know, Luton, you wouldn't expect to maybe survive come the end of the season. So, Dominguez is a bit stiff at the back. I, I say that, he's won it. Go on. Is that Kone? Yep, yeah, Kone's making a run down the wing. Well, we got him on press forwards. Look at him, he's sprinting. Go on, Kone. Man in the middle. It's not going to go to him, but sure, that's a goal. It is. What? How was that off? How was that offside? What happened? Is he is in the goalie's vision? He's not interfering. Well, I mean, he's. Have they given that offside because he's interfering with play? Is that what we're dealing with? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, for God's sake, man! It's such a lovely bit of play. And the most annoying part is, I meant to give it to um, I meant to give it to Dakar with Kone. So it just shouldn't have been that. We're going to score surely now. Have that. Have that game. Well, we've scored a legit goal this time. Is, is this Sarah again? Blimey neck. Sarah scored another one. And basically at the same time as he scored the, the goal against Chelsea. Um, and, well, we know what happened in the last one. So we need to just keep our cool. And we need the second goal. That, that's what we really need. Um, but we basically scored twice already. Um, but the, the game wasn't having the other one. Because apparently Dak is offside. But let's not worry about that now. We finally got the goal. Uh, it came like two minutes after that offside one. And Luton already been torn apart. So hopefully we can create more and more. We really need to beat teams like this though. But five goals and nine now for Sarah. Which is really good for a, for a centre midfielder. Man on the inside. Another man on the inside. Surely at this time. Oh, blooming heck. I did exactly what I did for the first goal. That was counted offside. Oh, and this one, the keeper's managed to save. Didn't hit it with enough power. Cabral's going to get his pace going. God. Well done, Cabral. No, they both oh, they both missed it. They're both the centre-backs. Not good. I don't think either centre-back is actually that tall, to be honest. I know Angulo's quite short, and I'm not sure about Sole. But um, Luton with a chance there. We need a second goal. Come on. Oh, try and get it to Kone. He slid him and he's got the ball. Chip him. Oh, he's done it. It's Kone. What a finish. Oh, my goodness. It's lovely. He slid the man. Didn't foul him. And it's 2 0. And, oh, that's brilliant from Kone. I thought I'd just give it a go. Slide in. See what happens. And he's got the goal. He's, he's made it 2 and 2. Look at this. Let's watch it again. So, well, actually, Daka should have messed it up in the first place. And the keeper should have done better there as well. And I probably didn't even have to chip it. I nearly chipped it over the bar. <laughs> I just, I don't. Well, why is, what's to keep his position in? Why is he run out that wide? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's two 0 to us. That's what, exactly what we needed. Um, and hopefully now we can go on to win this one. And that's exactly what. See, I'm, I'm being rewarded. Like I know I haven't changed the formation, but Kone getting forwards is exactly why we've we've scored twice with him today, um, which is really nice. Oh, well done, Sam. Sarah's done it twice, three times. He's won the ball three times, and he hasn't actually kept it because the game's stupid. Get Borja signs running down the wing. Go on, Borja. Yeah, yeah, Borja. Go on, Borja. Borja's going to have a shot. Oh, he saved it. Oh, it's not the greatest shot. It didn't look like he kicked it out of the keeper, though. Should have been 3-0. Into a awful pass. What is that? I meant to give that to Fastnacht, and it's gone to Kone and been intercepted. Oh, what a turn. Blimey neck, Giles. What are you doing? Not again. Oh, Soft, soft target. One end to the other. Both teams could have scored there. It's a bit dodgy. <laughs> Ball has signed. And Camaral. Yeah, it's just again like they keep crossing it to the, to the winger. And Camaral just can't defend in those positions. Because he's just hasn't got the height you need. Alright, it's alright. That'll be half time. 2-0. We'll definitely take that. I mean, Luton did create a couple of decent chances on the back posts. Um, which were off target. So, and, and actually, now that I think about it. We did get that offside goal where... 
Dakar was interfering with play. Um, I haven't really even scored a goal like that before, to be honest, I don't think. It's been a bit, bit of a weird one. I wasn't expecting it. But um, as soon as we got that, Sarah scored, so it doesn't matter. And obviously, Kone got a lovely, lovely chip goal as well. Actually going to slide it inside to Dakar. And D Dakar's messed up the pass a few times. Oh, I've won that. Well done, Kone. Oh, Inchu was on it. Inchu was probably one of the best players on the pitch, to be honest. Keep running, Inchu. There's no one to cross it to. And Okay, I thought that came off my foot, actually. Kone run. Lovely. Smash it near post. Oh, he didn't smash it hard enough. That should have gone in. But again, we're starting the half off well here. Here comes Dakar. Going to tart on the inside. Smash it near post again. Ah, oh. yeah. The keeper. The keeper has better position in there on the near post. Okay. Oh, good turn. It's Charles again. Blimey, he's good at turning me. He's done it twice, and they nearly scored last time from when he did that. Cohen, watch yourself. All right. They're going to sense an opportunity here. Oh, he's got past me. Oh, it's a, good, it's a good goal for Luton. That's really annoying. It's just they, they, they kept the possession there. I just couldn't get it off them. That's really frustrating. Well, I probably should have got the ball there, to be honest, with one of the players. I mean, look, yeah. Two of them there to get it, and I just haven't got it. It's okay. We're winning. We're winning still. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, we just need to go up the other end and get another one. I mean, we've, had some, we've already had a couple of chances in this half. We just need to make sure we keep the ball. No, we know what Giles did like. What a cross. Thank God he's missed that. That was a brilliant cross. I was not expecting him to cross it there, to be honest. Giles is creating a lot for Luton right now. You have to say, I think that Luton's man of the match is Giles. Just can't get it off him this half. I feel like as soon as they score, it's just so hard to play against teams. Go. Blooming out. They've got another chance there. I'm just trying to keep quiet and concentrate, but another chance for Luton. They're definitely on top right now, which is really annoying. If they end up scoring, I mean, you can't say it's not deserved. Yeah, Verbruggen should get that right. We've got eight minutes to hold on. We, we can either slow the play down or try and get another goal. Oh, that, yeah, see, this is the issue. Now they're going to get one more chance because it's the 92nd minute. What's the ref not blow the whistle when, it, when he should? Right, it's 93rd minute. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh, he did. He did. I thought he was going to let them have one more shot. Right. That was dodge. But, again, like, because it, it was 2-0, we managed to win. <laughs> but, um, again, that second half performance just wasn't on it. I mean, it's, it feels like as soon as teams score, they just play better. And that's what Chelsea did when they got the penalty goal. They played better. Um, and, obviously, Luton... Yeah, Giles down the left was dodgy. Really, really good. But um, thankfully, we managed to get three points. All right, not the prettiest performance, but um, it's passing to third. Wait a minute, let me just look at the table quickly. We must be tied on points with... Oh, my. It's still quite close. I mean, we've lost two, but we're in third. And after ten matches, there's possibility we could be in second. We've got better goal difference than Chelsea. In fact, lot, what, what is this goal? what's going on with the goal difference? Like, a lot of teams don't have that good goal difference. That's odd. Well, interesting. I know it's early on, but still. Angulo's worried the club is, isn't meeting the demands. Don't you worry about that. Sorry, what is Angulo worried about? Like, we've done... We've got three medium, two low. We've already completed one of the medium. This one, get streak of seven games with at least one goal scored in the league. We're on one of five streak. Sell two crucial players... So two players and signed two crew. Apparently, well, it says we've completed that as well. So, <laughs> okay, it, it's no tick next to it, which is odd because it says four out of four complete. Um, finished mid table. How? What is wrong with Angulo? We we are. There's nothing even there. What what is Angulo one about? Literally to being fine. I might accept that he's 74 rated 17. If Newcastle actually use him, I mean, I'm not really using him much right now, so that could be good for us. Well, we got the win against Luton, but obviously it wasn't the prettiest performance again in the second half. Um, I think it's just going to be another case of we need to get two goals against Forest in the first half and hope they don't score, because as soon as teams score, they play better. Um, but again, we're going to go for exactly the same team. There's absolutely no reason to change it, to be honest. Um, I just thought everyone played played quite well. Maybe Borja signs, maybe 
could sub him off halfway through because he didn't really do anything. Um, but yeah, the rest of the team, perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty decent. Decent. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Perfect. Don't just wait for him to make the move. All right, just pass on the edge of the box. Kone is going to smash one. Go on. Oh, oh, I thought it got deflected. I wasn't expecting it to get through. But um, off target by a long margin. <laughs> oh, I'm not, not even a very player on that one. Borja is calling for it. Good, but good pass, Borja. Oh, what is that touch? God. <laughs> oh, dear. That is interesting. Inch was good in defence. Oh, well, got a foot in there and there. And this time he's got it. I'm not going to cross it this time. It hasn't worked. Last two times. Kone! It's a powerful shot. The keeper got a good strong hand to it. Oh, I wasn't... Oh, <laughs> again, the pass just goes to the wrong player. And then I just lose all concentration. Because I'm like, wait, I didn't try and pass it there. And it's now here. <laughs> Where were they in the table? I can't remember. I think they were like 18th. So they're not doing great. But it doesn't mean anything. God, see, like, I just got it twice with Angulo. Lovely camera out. Keep it. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant defending. Smash it. Ooh, I thought the keeper was out of position there. Keep it very quiet because Forrester felt like the hardest team to be doing anything against. Um, I'm afraid that if we play like we have against the other two teams uh, in the second half again, we'll just uh, not do very well. We've got a headed goal, though, out of nothing. Come on, 41 minutes in, and we've got the goal. Come on. Let's keep it calm and composed. Who is it on the header? Is that fast act? It's usually fast act in those positions. I'm not really sure. The ball's moving too quickly. Can't actually see. Um, oh, it's Big Andy. He's fallen over. Big Andy's had a, had a slip on the near post, on the far post. Uh, he should be doing better. What is Big Andy doing there? He's not even on the line. Well, nice to see him, but... You don't play for us anymore, so see you later, lad. Um, and Fastnet scored anyway. 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> 2 minutes, right. Come on. It's Cabral again. Winning the ball back for us. Right, blow the whistle. Okay. Um, bit of a weird half. I think I have to say, like, when it was 0-0, nil -nil, um, to be honest, I thought... Forest are probably on top. Maybe they could have got the goal, but we got the head goal from the cross in the corner, and that's all you need to get in the lead. We just need to make sure we play well in this in this second half, which we haven't done against either team so far. He's done. He's done it again. Well done, Cabral. Definitely my man of the match. I mean, defensively we've had to really be on it, and Cabral's done exactly that. Dominguez is on it. Dak is gonna go on the finesse. Is that the keeper? He's messed it up. Ooh. Dodgy. <laughs> Dara's shooting hasn't been great since... Did, did he score against Chelsea, maybe? Just hasn't... Oh, that's a good pass. It's onside. And Gula's playing him on for absolutely no reason. That's the goal. Oh, for Bruggen with a big save. I thought that was going to be the goal for sure. But um, it's Angulo's fault for... You know, there's no offside trap. And I, I shouldn't have to press the buttons for Angulo to, to realise that he should be running with the man. Let's give Johnny Rowe a bit of game time. Johnny Rowe's on the pitch, everyone. Now, he's five rings less than ball sign, so... Or lower. No, I'm aiming at Blooming Cabral. What is that? I'm aiming at Cabral. Blooming at game. It happens over and over today. It's happened so many times. Just passes that I don't expect to to mess up. Like, well, I mean, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm aiming at the man. Man in the middle. It's a lovely pass to Gabriel Sara. Can you make it 3 3? Oh, what a, what a save. That's brilliant from the keeper. I had to really get across there because it wasn't a bad bad shot, but Nottingham Forest stern the game because of that. Cabral's doing. Cabral again. He's, he's won the ball like four times down this left to, to bring the ball out. And now he's coming forwards. Lovely. It's, it's Johnny Rowe. Johnny Rowe's going to let fly. And it's 2-0. Johnny Rowe, super sub. He's made it 2-0. And hopefully that will now seal the victory for us. Again, it hasn't been the best performance. But we've managed to defend just well enough to not let Forrest score. Go up the other end. And it's Cabral. 
again, Cabral has literally created that for us because he wins the ball in the left-back position off the Nottingham Forest right winger. That's brilliant from him, and Johnny Rowe makes a 2 now. Come on. Push him backwards. I feel like they're not going through the middle as much because there's just so many players. Like, they will a bit like this when I mess it up, but, you know, if I keep the shape, it's really hard for them. God. Oh, Verbruggen, good save, but it wasn't the greatest shot. He should have probably done better there. Um, Forrest have had a few chances to maybe to may make it 2-1, but thankfully they've just not been on it. And, I mean, if this was like, if this if Chelsea were playing like this, they would easily beat me, I think. Come on, back, back this way. Yes, lovely stuff. Like, we just kept them there at bay. Just didn't let them get through with anything. Um, but it's a really good win for us. Not Again, not the most convincing performance. But you have to say, it's just important moments like Fastnack's header in the first half that get you the win. And obviously, I think I have to say, Cab Rao was the best player on the pitch there. Multiple times he wins the ball back for us in dodgy positions where Forrest could maybe create a few chances. And of course, um, when he did win the ball back, one of those times, Johnny Rowe went up the other end and scored. Lovely super sub performance. And I think I have to start Johnny Rowe after scoring a, a, a big goal like that in a, in a big game. Um, oh my, everyone. Look at this. Look at this table. We are in second. <laughs> uh, the, it's, it's funny because like, if, if we end up losing the next three, we could probably be down to like 10th. <laughs> but right now we're in second. Um, let's just have a quick look at the bottom of the table, see what's occurring at the bottom. Um, yeah, three teams you kind of expect to be in the relegation zone, to be fair. Um, but yeah, Man City already six points ahead of us in second, so they're kind of starting to run away with it already, which isn't too exciting. But anyway, um, I don't think today was even, even that good for us. I mean, we got two wins, but it's against two teams you kind of expect to get wins against. And um, I think we did the job in the first half against Luton, but um, obviously they played better. And against Forest, it just felt like it could have gone either way. Like whatever, I think feel like whatever t team scored first probably was going to win that match. And thankfully, it was us, um, and we got the second goal in the second half. But and then obviously Chelsea is just a weird one. Like we probably could have got at least a point out of Chelsea. There's as soon as um, he gave the penalty, that feels like ages ago now. As soon as he gave that, it just fell apart, and it just wasn't even a penalty. And it just feels like again teams play way better. Um, when they score, so um, but we'll we'll take the two wins. That's given us six points, and I mean after ten matches when we've just been promoted, with not the greatest team, we will definitely take being in second place. But my, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It's been full of all sorts of misery and also some exciting moments. Getting two big wins as well. Um, please smash that like button button and subscribe if you are new to the channel or simply haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. This will be Minigamanis signing off and peace.